Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome to Mrs. Abel's Cartoon at Noon. Today is Wednesday, March the 25th, 2020. And I'm sure you would all agree that the times we're living in right now are goofy times. So I couldn't think of anybody better to draw today than our buddy over here, Goofy. So let's get going. Grab a pencil, grab a marker, grab a piece of paper, grab some things to color with, and don't forget, at any point, you can push the pause button if you feel like I'm going a little bit too quickly and you need to catch up. So you can pause and continue along when you're ready. Okay, we're going to build Goofy starting with his eyes. So what I would like you to do, and by the way, on your piece of paper, you're going to put your piece of paper vertical like this in the portrait format. And you want to be sure that his eyeballs are really kind of close to the middle of the page because you want to leave enough room for his head and his hat. Okay. So when you draw his eyeballs, don't draw them too close to the top of the page or you will run out of room and not have anywhere to put his head and his hat. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to start with his eyeballs. His eyeballs are just two ovals, and they are a little bit apart from one another. There's a little bit of space in between his eyeballs. So you are going to draw one oval like this, okay? And right next to it, another oval like that. Let's get his eye highlights in there. So at the top of his eyes, you're going to draw two small circles kind of at the very top of his eyes. And you're gonna go ahead and with your marker or your colored pencil or your crayon or whatever you're working with, go ahead and fill in the bottom part of his eyes so that they're nice and solid. And you'll see as we go ahead and we're doing this, you'll see that it absolutely starts to look like Goofy's amazing expression. Okay, so you have his eyeballs there. Next thing we're going to draw is kind of the curve that goes underneath Goofy's eyes. This is the curve of the top of his nose. So you are going to do kind of a rainbow arch. It comes starts from the left here. It goes over, touches the bottom of his eyes, and over to the other side like that. Okay, so a rainbow arch, nice and smooth, goes up, touches the bottom of his eyes, and ends a little bit on the other side, about equal distance from both sides of the eyes. Underneath that, you're going to do a smaller rainbow arch. Leave a little bit of space, a little step down there, and do a smaller rainbow arch that fits underneath that one you just did. All right, let's get his nose in there. His nose is an oval, and it's an oval on its side. So you're going to draw a nice, big oval like that. That's Goofy's nose. And we want to put a nice little highlight inside his nose as well. So on this left side of his nose, you're going to go ahead and draw a circle just like that. And just like we did with his eyes, you want to go ahead and fill in his nose, it's nice and solid black, nice crisp. This particular drawing, I really think that in order for him to look just like Goofy, it has to be nice and crisp and solid when you do your coloring. So you're going to go ahead and fill in that nose just like that. All right, let's keep going. We're going to get Goofy's cheeks in there. So his cheeks, as you can see, they kind of are separated away from these curves we just did. And the left cheek we're going to start with sort of looks a little bit like the letter C. So you're going to take a little bit of space over from his nose line, but lined up with that. And you're going to start, you're going to do kind of a, a capital letter C, a curve like this. But keep going with it and let it hook right under his nose like that. But don't touch his nose. Let it end right underneath the middle of his nose there. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. You're going to start over on this side and do a backwards letter C and let that hook all the way down and up and join the other line that you did right on the other side. Remember, these are all going to look a little bit different and that's okay. Still going to have Goofy's personality. Plus, we're just practicing. If you don't like what you're doing, crumple up the paper and start over again. Rewind the video and get going, okay? All right. On those two little cheeks that you did, I want you to put a little vertical line there and a little vertical line just like that, okay? And then you're going to get the creases of kind of his cheeks and his smile. So we want to put a little angled line there that kind of comes down like that and a little angled line on the top of that side of his cheek. All right, we're doing great. We're almost done his cheeks. From the nose rainbow arch curve now, what I want you to do is you're going to do two smaller rainbow arches. You're starting from the end of that curve, and you are going to go up and over the mouth crease 
and end right at his cheek like that. So it's like a rainbow arch that goes up and over and ends right on his cheek. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Rainbow arch up and over and end right there on that side of his cheek. All right, we are getting there. Let's go ahead and get Goofy's forehead in there. His forehead looks, the top of it looks a little bit like a heart shape. So what I like to do is go up from his eyes a fair distance and go ahead and put just a little dot right there. Could kind of put a little dot at the center. And what you're going to do, they're kind of candy cane arches. You're going to start from this side. You're going to hook up and come right back down again and have that end at the top of the cheek that we just finished. Same thing on the other side. Go back to that dot again. Come up like a candy cane. And you're going to hook up, over, down, and let that end right where his cheek is. Now we're going to do another line that's exactly like that one, but a little distance apart. So start at his cheek here, or you can start up here if you want to put a little dot. You could go ahead and do a same thing like this. And down. And then you're going to kind of stay the equal distance away from the first line. You're going to go ahead and arch that one and down. Do you see how he's starting to look like Goofy? So much fun. All right, let's go ahead and get Goofy's mouth in there. So first, Goofy has these big, wonderful teeth. So from underneath his cheeks here, you're going to put two straight lines like that. And then a curved line to close that off like that. Okay, same thing over here. You're going to put two straight lines. And then a curved line to finish that off, okay? Let's get the bottom of Goofy's mouth. So inside one of the teeth, you're going to do a nice smiley face. It goes like this, whoop, all the way over to the other tooth. Then below that, starting from the tooth again, you're going to make a double line like this all the way over. So it's kind of a double smile. Inside of that, there's a little wrinkle. So you can put like a little curve right inside his mouth. Let's get Goofy's tongue in there. His tongue is a rainbow arch. It starts from this side of his mouth, goes across, and stops kind of in the middle like that. And then you're going to start from there and do another rainbow arch to the other side. So it's kind of like a double rainbow arch. Almost looks like the letter M if you're going ahead and making that tongue inside of his mouth. All right, we're getting there. Let's go ahead and get Goofy's hat. He's got some hair sprigs, and we'll get his ears on there. So starting up on the top of his head to do his hat, you're going to do two small angled lines that go off of his head like that. And behind that line, a little bit lower than the line, you want to draw an oval that comes all the way around like this and ends on the other side of that line that you just drew. From there, we're going to build his hat a layer higher. So you're going to go ahead and do another angled line like this and an angled line like that that kind of comes off of the top of that hat. And there you are going to draw the band of his hat, which is another kind of soft rainbow arch line that goes straight across like this. From that, we want to do the very, very top of his hat. It starts to look a little bit like a chef's hat. It's nice and soft, kind of like a cloud. So from here, you are going to go ahead and make a curve that comes into the middle, nice curve, rainbow arch, and then a curve like this that comes right around and finishes off the hat like that, okay? Goofy also has some nice sprigs of hair that kind of come off of the top of his forehead. So from the middle of his head here, you're gonna do one sprig of hair, kind of goes off like that, another one, and another one. No perfect way to do that. You can kind of do that however you like, okay? All right, all we need is Goofy's floppy ears and he will look exactly like our Goofy, okay? So the way to do his ears, pretty easy, but follow along with this. You're going to start on the side of his head right above his cheek and you want to do a curved line that comes around his cheek and then you're going to come all the way down, lower, almost down by his mouth, okay? Then you're going to curve that line around and come all the way back up, but make it thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. As you get back toward the top, you're going to make it pinched and come back up to his head. Let's try that again on the other side. You start from his ear, curve around his cheek, all the way down, and end all the way down by where his mouth is. Then you're going to curve that around, bring it back up to his head, getting it to be a little bit thinner and thinner as you get back up toward Goofy's head. 
All three times I drew this, he looks a little bit different each time, but that's perfect. There's no denying that this is Goofy. So there you have it. There's Goofy. Go ahead and color him in with markers, colored pencils, crayons, however you like, and I can't wait to see your finished products. Again, if you put this on Facebook, make, sh make sure you put hashtag cartoon at noon, all one word, cartoon at noon. And if you want to email it to me, I would love to see these. I am absolutely loving these. They're coming in actually not only from all of my amazing Holy Family School artists, but also from all over the country. I've gotten some submissions from Colorado. I know that two little girls, Cassie and Avery in Bardstown, Kentucky are doing this. So this is actually becoming popular all over the place. So send me your submissions. K Abel, K A B E L L at myholyfamilyschool.org. Can't wait to see what you've done. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay well and we'll see you tomorrow.